Hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the GameCom, and we are playing some more Hearts of Iron 4, continuing with our Japanese Empire campaign, and yeah, so I recorded an episode, and um, I forgot to hit record, so... <laughs> uh, so anyways, what I did after the last episode is, uh, most of our ships were actually at home repairing, so we're moving them back out, and we're gonna get all these ships over here, um, and we're having them join up with our fleet that's already over here. Um, one thing that we noticed last episode is we need to do convoys, but we need to do convoys here, here, and here. Um, so that these guys will actually launch in. The funny thing is we had a pretty good foothold on America. We were still losing um, some ships though, which was becoming a bit of an issue. Uh, so we gotta be a little careful because a lot of our ships are quite hurt right now. But um, what I'm concerned about is uh, Europe invading America. And we saw that happening, like Nor uh, Netherlands started taking over Florida and stuff like that. So um, you can see the British troops are up here and they have a lot of ships and stuff. So we really need to like work on taking either out the United States as quick as possible or getting a large enough foothold. And then the other thing we're going to start doing is let's go ahead. Man, I did so much last episode. It's so frustrating. <laughs> we're going to start popping out some naval dockyards as soon as we're done with this stuff because we need to start popping out better ships. Uh, more ships too because we need to be able to compete uh with everything that europe has uh and the thing is like if we have america all we need is a fleet then and we're good we don't have to worry about anything we can then probably hold off the soviet union we can guard our borders we can probably take over the rest of this um asia without any issues we just need a fleet at that point other thing uh we noticed is i need all of you guys moving over here yes and then we want to make sure that we delete all of these orders Okay, and so then with that gone, you guys need to get all the way over here. Yep, they start going back because, you know, they still have that order. So that should be okay then. Um, you guys just go ahead and launch as soon as you can. I think everything else was pretty okay. Oh, one of the things that we did um, right at the end of the episode is, let's see, we ended up unlocking mechanized but we never used like um we never created a battalion of mechanized so we're gonna go ahead and grab that right away and there might be a better way to do this but for now we're just gonna do straight mechanized mechanized and we'll get up to 20 combat 16 18 20 and then we're gonna add in support engineer recon maintenance and field hospital and we'll go ahead and uh we want to make this elite and we're gonna save and we're going to start building some mechanized while we're at it. Uh, we'll have to switch some of our factories around. That's going to be fine. We'll train. We'll give them the highest priority. Yeah, I don't care so much about you guys anymore. Same thing here. Light tanks as well. Yeah, you guys can all stand low. That's fine. Although, you know, infantry, I might be okay with you going back to medium. We really probably don't need you super high anymore either. We got a lot of MP at this point. Uh, okay, so we're going to train two at once, and we're going to set you right here. And you're going to get the highest priority. Good, good. We don't care about war goals. Air wings without missions. These guys are in the southwest. Um, these are CASs. I, man, part of me wants to start getting sh uh, planes over here to help out, but man, we really, really, really need to work on this. And you do naval strikes, so blow up anything that's over there. We're missing equipment production, I know, because we just did it, so you're going to go mechanize equipment. And I don't think we need... I don't think we need uh, much more infantry, so I'm just going to delete the second line. And we're still quite short here. That's fine. Anything extra can go there. Um... What's our air experience? 478. So I will go ahead and upgrade some of our stuff. Let's look at CAS. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to grab CAS and we're going to upgrade you. And we're just going to create a variant. Something like that. And we want CAS A. Kai A. And then do we have any regular fighters? I want our fighters to be as good as possible. I don't care about carrier fighters as much. Do we have fighters? What? Bombers, fighters. K-I-A. Uh, okay, so we can upgrade you one more time. We have 303 left. Eh, they'll be fine. And then you're in B-Kai-B. B. So then we need to switch around some of that stuff. Okay. Uh, that's all fine. That's all fine. That's all fine. All right. I think we're better now. Um, Venezuela, we do... We are getting some oil from you. I will grab, I will grab some more than from America, free America, the good America, right? 
And then, you know what? I'm gonna send you two to Soviet Union. I'm kind of, like, still mixed on that. Like, part of me wants to trade with Soviet Union, so Soviet Union finds me valuable and doesn't want to conquer me. Because, um, as I've said many times, if they ever declare war on us, we're screwed. However, I also don't want to improve them by giving them my factories. So, it's kind of one of these weird things. So, uh, you're going to launch as soon as possible. The ships should get over here in time. Uh, that upgrades ships. Um, we're not going to worry about those two. Instead, we're going to come over here and start getting some better fighters. Please. Maybe we shouldn't give an experience then to those fighters, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, who did we just upgrade? It was a ship, didn't we? Battlecruiser. Boom. Battlecruiser 2. Yes. We do need more naval factories. Oh, here's the other thing with the naval factories. We... Carriers I'm good with... But we really want, like, battleships and battlecruisers. That's where it's at right now. I don't need so much... Heavy cruisers I'm okay with. I don't care about light cruisers or destroyers. Like, it's just too much extra right now. Um, the big guys are, like, so strong. And they take forever, too. So, oh, I wonder who destroyed us. I wonder... I wonder whose fault it is. By the way, why are we missing stuff? Do we not just... Because Soviet Union's not sending us everything. So, you know what? You can have one, and I'll send one more over to America. We'll prepare going to war. Is there any event that helps us? Emergency factory, I don't really care about. War bonds, what about women? We don't have total mobilization, but we're going to grab that this episode. Weekly stability. Um, stability is actually kind of bad. It's just going to slow our factories down. Hmm. Industrial land, gain base war support. We would get a building slot. Doesn't really matter. We don't control that. Can't do any of that. We could prioritize certain stuff. What if we prioritize naval? I just don't think it's worth spending 50 political power for. Because uh, we still have so much of our government to fill out. That's why I think I'm okay waiting on that. In fact, like grabbing some of these might be great too. But the next one we're gonna get is mobilization. Uh, we're gonna bump up our mobilization so we can get more manpower. So, all right, naval invasion is launching. Let's do this. Now, did you guys get all the additional people over here? Yeah, because we have five carriers over here now. So there will be a fight. We should be able to win it. Uh, I want to say, hey, yo, and then also, hey, yo, eh. You know what? You take care of that there, man. You just, like, protect the East Coast. <laughs> I wish I didn't have to tell you to protect your own coast. The thing that I don't like is it seems like when we have hurt ships over here, we have to send them all the way back to Japan to heal them, which just doesn't make sense to me. All right, Soviet Union, piss off, dude. If you're not going to help me, I'm going to find someone else to help me. And you know what? I'm okay giving Free America some extra factories because that's just going to help them produce stuff quicker. Really? Venezuela. Why is everyone? I think it's because they don't have the convoys. Out of 102, has zero left for export and a f deficit of two. So basically, they just can't afford as much. So we can still afford that then. Yeah. That gives you a little extra. Yay. Ace pilot. Okay. I think we're good. Naval invasion. It's only launching with two people for some reason. Uh, you're exerting influence in Turkey. We really need Soviet Union kind of just to start declaring war. I wonder about... I don't know. I don't think there's any way I can like bait them into attacking Europe. <laughs> like, man. I would be so worried about Soviet Union. In fact, I don't know. Okay, if I'm the allies, I need America on my side. So, yeah, we probably would submit quite a few troops over here to keep America um, uh, allies. Because if they're socialists, uh, that makes Japan really, really scary. More than that, that just really makes UK and France just very isolated. And then they would be surrounded by, like, Japan socialists, uh, fascists over here, rather. Not socialists, fascists over here. And then uh, a communist over here. So it would just be a very scary world <laughs> for them. Where are you going? Where, where, I, I told you to go over here, dude. I, I literally said go over here, help me out. And you're like, okay, I'm going to go way down here to Mexico. 
Uh, they want some margaritas on the beach. I can't blame them. Seriously, I can't blame them. I would love a margarita on the beach right now. Margaritas on the beach are awesome. But that's a whole side point. Uh, what's going on over here? We have unrated naval battles. We were defeated. Oh, this is easy. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. But we lost Washington. Yo. You're not gonna, like, lose here now, right? See, that's why we need to get over here. The thing is, ultimately, I, ultimately, I don't think Free American Empire is gonna live long. They have more troops, but, I mean, you can see all the European troops over here, and actually, these are Canadian, aren't they? Is that Canadian? Canada? Canadia? <laughs> Canadia? Yeah, that's Canada. So that means Canada probably doesn't have any troops in their territory. There might be something to be said about launching up here in Alaska and working down south, too. In fact, F that. We're going to do this. So I got purple right here. When purple gets here with all the troops, we're going to send... It should be fairly safe. I don't think he's going to have any... Yeah, we should be able to get up here, too. Okay, maybe not. 62%. Like, dang it. Yeah, they do have some ships over there. But if we could surround the Canadian troops, we might be in a good spot. Alright, I guess we're going to launch everyone over here then. Sounds like a plan. What happened? Oh, they got engaged in battle. Right? What happened to my dudes? Go. Yeah, okay, they got caught in a battle real quick. Uh, modify government. We want extensive conscription, which is going to slow down our training time. Whatever. Uh, we have unassigned divisions. Perfect timing. You're going to go here. Uh, we're not going to do anything with you quite yet. Low manpower. We're at war and resistance occupation. Yeah. Uh, how goes my orange guys? Okay. Hold up. Someone's not doing what they're supposed to be doing. If we were moving people down here, these guys... Okay, no, no, no. Yeah, they're still going. Uh, but all you guys should be using... That, please. Get there quicker. We might start moving some of these other troops over here. I don't know. We'll have to see. Dude, can you stop intercepting me, man? So I can just, like, land... Also, how are we not have any planes on this fleet? Wait, what is this? Air wings will follow this carrier when it leaves the region they operate in. We're learning. How do you put planes in you? <laughs> we want you to do air superior. We don't have any planes, so I think that's what's going on here. I should have planes, though. Do I not have carrier planes? Maybe not. You know what maybe is happening? Because these planes are all, like, over here on land. Are these are these guys carriers at all? Fighters, close air support. I know we have carriers somewhere. These guys are both on planes. Can we put you on the ship? <laughs> I don't know. We might just have to wait till we build more. It's fine. We might honestly... Can we get an airbase over here? There should be an airbase in California, right? I know there's an airbase in California. Independence Day taught me so. I don't see one, though. Yeah, I don't see an airbase over here in California. Maybe it wasn't built yet. Maybe that was a post-Independence Day thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, he moved more troops over here. Ugh, just freaking win this battle and push him out of the way. Come on. I really would like to win this for the love of God. Thank you. Okay, now that we got this, we're going to push you out over here. Uh, everyone, launch time. You get over here. You get over here. You guys get over here as well. You're going to go up here just so we can spread out and get just a little bit more regions so we don't have as much attrition. Um, you're actually full on organization. Naval combat. Yeah, we're fine on that. Oh my lord. 
How does he have this many planes? How does he have this many planes? Someone explain this to me. Also, why are my planes not able to move? Uh, because America lost that. Oh my god, free America, you're so bad at this game. <laughs> we can't put you over there because you're too far away. How does he have this many planes? He doesn't even have carriers. So, there's no airports over here. Where is he basing these planes from? That's a very good question. Also, Japan fleet number one. We're now good to put you over here as well. So, you need to come over here and help out. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my god, dude. Venezuela. So, let's send back one again. Oh, this is an oil. Which we're actually lacking. You know what? Evit. Just start over. And then, yo. And then we have one extra one here, so, boom. We have two extra ones there now. Boom. I hate, I would, like, I wish that could just, like, mat, uh, microman, or micromanage itself without you having to manage it. It's kind of annoying. Alright, repair high. We want to split enabled. And we want you guys to repair now. The ones that need it, at least. And we're just gonna sit here and fight all these planes ourselves. From somewhere. Like, I have absolutely no idea where the UK, Australia, where, where all these planes are coming from. Like, how can they launch planes all the way over here? Maybe they're based in Mexico? Like, we have an airport here. There's no way that they're sending all of these planes from freaking South Texas. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's really weird to me. Uh, you guys are all going here, and then you guys are all supposed to be launching over here too. Please. You go that way instead. Keep spreading out. Uh, you... I thought we beat you back, didn't we? Yeah, because you were right here, were you not? Trying to grab as much territory as possible so we don't get too much attrition. Uh, and we might as well go defend at this river. We gotta keep an eye out, though, for troops popping up over here, so I don't want to take too much territory. Um, but you know what? If we can go grab all this, that's just going to be great. That's Sacramento, actually, right? I think I remember this from seeing it earlier. There's the guy with no organization, so... Alright, well, we grabbed Sacramento. You guys should be healing eventually, someday, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You guys, are you guys ready, healed up? Yes, you are. You guys are supposed to join with our fleet. So come over here to Japan Fleet 1. And congratulations, you guys are now a part of this fleet. Get your butt over here. All right, we'll manually send you over here. Get your butt over here. Get your butt over here. Oh my lord, I hate everything about this naval game. <laughs> I hope they're fixing the naval game in the new patch. I mean, the new patch is all about the naval game. So I'm just hoping it's less stupid. You're going back to take Sacramento again. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just going to push you right back out of Sacramento. Okay, we got 10 troops now. So I am going to create our own little line here. And um, I do need to rush these guys over here, so I probably need to merge up with Texas. I think our better option is going to be, though, to surround these troops and just kill them. So we're going to start pushing like this way. And I'm just going to basically say go. <laughs> But luckily we're landing troops. Hey, this fleet is managing. If we can get all the troops over here, I will take all my navy home. I'm okay with that. <laughs> we'll go hide for a little bit. Can you give me one more oil? We also got some green over here. Ooh, hell yeah, dude. Mobile. Let's go. 
I want you just to get over here to Utah City. I think that's what that is. Go. Um, so then we probably should also do a similar thing here with green. We'll add you guys to this. Uh, speaking of which, you guys should all be on this one. And then this one, right? And then launching. Yeah. So then, while you guys are on that line, and then we're also going to have you guys probably grab a little more north. Something like that. Sure. Go. And I know you guys are not in position. I know you guys are not ready. I don't really care. You're still injured, so I want to keep you pushed back. Uh, and you know what? You three are now in charge of coming down here, probably all the way to L.A. So once you grab San Francisco, you're going to come over there. Uh, I think that was about Turkey, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Did we already see the Turkey one? I don't know. It doesn't matter. So send you over there. Oh, hey, a patrol got ambushed. I am so shocked. Yo, you guys are supposed to be running away. We're trying to run away, but unfortunately we're fighting a thousand planes from who knows where. Uh, maybe by taking over LA we're going to figure this out. <laughs> uh, maybe eventually we'll be able to figure this out. You guys are taking the south route, right? I want you to stay on the coast, please. I want you to come over here. And then eventually you're going to go down there to San Diego. Wait, is San Diego right on the border? You know, I don't think I ever realized that. I knew it was in the south. I didn't realize it was that far south. Huh, nice. Um, is purple over here yet? No. You guys are still in the sea. We still have troops in the sea. We might lose some of these troops. 17, 15, 23. Yeah, we just lost one of them. <laughs> it's like, we might lose one of them as we literally lost one of them. That's fine. If we get most of them over, that's all that matters. Stop shooting me. They're freaking shooting stuff. Ah. Torpedo cruisers. Thank you. Uh, you're going to upgrade then here to better submarines. You're going to grab... You got 75% boost now. I think we will grab one of you. It is almost 1942. 1942 unlocks a bunch of new equipment. Screw it. Let's do 1942 stuff. Unassigned divisions. You are part of the... All you guys are a part of this group, so congratulations, you're now on that. Why do we keep having this issues? This is where it's like... This is not fun. Like, seriously, this is not fun, man. I don't understand why we have to keep micromanaging it. Like, they should just auto-do it. Like, just automatically fix it. You can have X number of convoys and take care of it for me. Maybe one of the expansions I didn't get ends up doing that. I don't know. It's just, man, it's so freaking frustrating. Which is that under Reese trade? There's no way just to say, hey, auto do it, right? That's just, I don't know. I feel like that is not fun. I feel like that should have been designed slightly differently. I'm going to take one of you guys here because we're skipping that territory for some reason. Good. Come over there. Come over there. You're going all the way down to San Diego. You're going to come to San Diego as well. You can now go this way to San Diego. And let's go. Let's freaking go. Start taking over Canada and get Vancouver up here too, man. Might as well. And here's the thing. If Free America ends up losing... Yeah, Free America is dead. Wow! Okay, so my previous game, they did not get their butt kicked this badly. What happened, Free America? So they're probably about dead then. Luckily, we're grabbing San Diego. We're getting um, some points over here, which is helping them stay alive. Like, I want them in on this war. <laughs> go, go grab everything that's giving points. No, uh, uh. Go, get, go get things that give points. It, like, they lost Texas. This is the worst I've seen them go. And do this like it's always pretty bad but man this is just terrible okay all our troops over here yet close Are you still not repairing yet oh my god oh my god we might have to rebuild our entire fleet too this is so annoying i 
I think part of this is us. We just don't have enough trade routes. Like, I just don't think we can support maybe the convoys right now. That's the only thing I can think of is happening. But, like, why would we need convoys with Soviet Union? And why would our convoys with Soviet Union be having issues? To me, it just doesn't make sense. Yes, please. Can we just, like, be happy for once with what we got? Thank you. So you guys are going to get in. These guys got caught. That's two units. Not the worst thing in the world. Um, these guys are coming. I think we got all the purple, though. Show Dash going to be fine, except these two guys, but that's fine. So, yeah, we lost another five ships because you were at 15. And you lost seven. Wow. So we took quite heavy casualties then, landing. Oh, this American thing. The funny thing is, I don't remember America having any fleet over here uh, before we restarted. So when we restarted, America got a lot larger of a fleet over in this area. So we kind of got screwed by that. <laughs> Go back and restart again. I guess. Jeez. 292. Your fighter. Fighter 2. We'll give you a little upgrade then. Uh, do you, can we do the A here? Yeah, we can. Perfect. And I'll do the heavy fighter while we're here. Perfect. I just hope we don't lose our entire fleet. That's kind of the important thing right now. And getting a breach. If we can get enough troops and we can get a breach over here, we're good. We can uh, lick our wounds and then start launching more troops here in a little bit. I just really need our fleets to go freaking home. It's just, I still don't understand where they got all these planes. That's 100% what's happened over here. Is they've been kicking our butts because of these planes. That I don't know how they have access to. Like, there's no naval, there's no airports nearby. Free America, seriously, dude. God, so bad. So terrible. The, the crazy thing is he might start moving troops my way. Which is going to be a little scary. Can I instead put you guys up here? Run away. <laughs> I think he's going to be safe. And then I'm going to send these guys. There's one British troop over there. But then I'm going to send these guys and start taking over Canada. I think he'll be fine. I wish there was a way to, like, just make them run away. <laughs> uh, any other good points over here? Yeah. Go up here and grab Seattle. And you know what? You are going to rush out Seattle. We're trying to maintain as many points as possible right now so that Free America doesn't die. So, we're going to rush out this stuff. The game also decided to get really laggy. We also need to wrap this episode up. All right, 28 minutes. Um, yeah, I'm going to wrap this one up here. So, next episode is probably just going to be us over here. So, this is going to be, what, no, now Japanese America. So, I wonder about... I wonder if it's going to be 100% Democratic. So, it might be worth it just to start doing this now. Because we will want to stage another coup as we start taking over more and more of America. But the thing is, if it's us against all the allies over here, this is probably not going well. But we'll see. So anyway, so hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and share your support. I'll see you guys later. Bye.